Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I wanted to just show you this uh, quick little resource that I've been using for a few years um, that I have gotten a lot of value out of and um, it is called Symbaloo.com. Uh, some of you may have heard of it, um, but for the most part I, I find that uh, it's pretty unknown to most of the education world. So I just wanted to give you a quick little preview of the free version and, and everything that you can do with it. So Symbaloo is essentially just a visual organizer for all of your bookmarks, for, for all of your internet um, resources. And it's uh, pretty simple to use and pretty easy to implement, but I just wanted to give you a preview of what you can do with the free version. So if I share my screen here, um, you should be able to see this is, I've already logged in to my account. <coughs> um, and something that if, when you create your own account, let me move me down to the bottom here. When you create your own account, um, you, it gives you the option to basically say, I'm using this for education and then it personalizes everything. When I created this account, it didn't have that option. So I didn't get to do that, but um, we're just going to go through just across the top here. Uh, first things first is Symbaloo calls these different tabs here. They call each one a web mix. Okay, so the home web mix was just automatically generated. Uh, there's a couple different versions of this, but I wanted to show you how you can create your own web mix and it's pretty easy to do. So believe it or not, it's just this little plus button. <laughs> and when you create that, um, you know, you can organize them into different areas, right? So uh, let's just say that you want one for your class, right? So uh, I teach elementary music, so let me just, I'm going to call this one fifth grade. Okay. <clears throat> and that creates a new tab, which is a new web mix that's now called fifth grade. Um, and before we get into adding a bunch of these tiles, I just want to walk through a couple of things. So first things up here is the logo. If you click on this, it'll show you all the different web mixes that you've already created. So if you click out of one, you exit out of a tab, you can always reaccess it by going up over here and adding it back into your tab area. <clears throat> okay. Um, the web mix has obviously a settings page. So I'm going to show you a couple of different cool things with this. Obviously you can rename it. You can change the background image. Uh, you can select an icon for it, which is pretty cool. So um, if I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to click uh, this little crown. And what that does is it then adds just this little crown next to your web mix. Just a fun little personalization thing that you can do. Now, uh, you can obviously, you can resize it. So if you need more tiles, you can expand it or you can uh, contract it either way. Um, just however you want it to line up. It's pretty uh, customizable in that sense. Um, making it transparent just does that doesn't really do much of anything but the cool thing and right now there for whatever reason there seems to be a glitch on this but the cool thing with adding a marker is if I go back here to my home you can see that the tiles are organized with color but uh, this section right here actually has a red background to it right so it's just that little section there for travel so if I go here and I go to my settings page that's what adding a new marker is so if I just want to say these top six tiles on the right up over here, we're going to create a new marked area there. And then any of the tiles in that can be categorized based on um, what you edit this as. And yeah, for whatever reason, it's not letting me do this right now when you create one. Um, I've found if I log out and log back in, I can then edit it. But for whatever reason, uh, it's not letting me do that. So you can resize it. You can change the color of it. You can rename it. Um, pretty, pretty simple things there. Okay. So that's the web mix. Um, another cool thing about Symbaloo, and one of the reasons why I like it, is that you can either use these for personal use, so trying to access all of your uh, personal bookmarks, or you can create a web mix specifically for your class, right? So if this is my fifth grade web mix, I can share this out uh, to anybody who needs to access those bookmarks. So if your kids are um, trying to access, you know, six or seven different things, especially with this distance learning that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks 
and now we'll likely be doing some sort of a hybrid version of it in the fall. Um, this might be a good resource for you to house everything that your students might need to access. So you can either make it public for anybody to find and access or um, what I just I prefer to do is I just keep it private so that only people with the link can access it. Okay, once I press share, it then gives me the option as to how I would like to share it with other people. So you can either copy and paste the link into an email. It'll, you can generate your own email. If you have a website, you can embed this in your other website using HTML code, or um, you can share it with a couple different ways. And if you are creating a Symbaloo account with the same account that you use for Google Classrooms, that's what this option is right here, is you can share it directly to individual classrooms, but my account is not linked up to my Google Classrooms account, so I can't show you that right now. But a lot of cool different ways to do that. Um, <clears throat> and once you exit out, um, it will uh, just bring you back up over here, a couple different options, and then you can reaccess that shareable link by clicking the WebMix info and sharing options. <clears throat> okay, as far as creating tiles, um, couple different ways to do this. So uh, as an elementary music teacher, there's a uh, YouTube channel called Super Simple Songs that I use a lot. They just have fun little animations with songs, especially that I might be teaching to K1 and 2. So if I copy this link to this YouTube page um, and I come back over here, there's a couple different ways that I can add this as a bookmark on this web mix. If I right click on a tile, that is just a quick little way to add any link to your web mix. However, it doesn't really personalize it and it just tells me that it's a YouTube link, right? So two different ways that I can do this. One, I can just do that quick add and then if I right click on the tile, I can now edit that tile multiple different ways. <clears throat> so I can change the title to, this is my super simple songs um, YouTube link. And the fun thing is that I can now show the text on that tile. So if I go down here and I save that, it now shows me, oh, that's my Super Simple Songs YouTube channel, right? Um, something else that you can do with it is you can change it. So if you, again, like on that home page, um, a couple of different links were all the same color, right? So that's one way to organize it. So I can save that. You can see it, it's now a red tile. Or if I go down to the bottom, um, oftentimes, for whatever reason, it's not doing it right now, but a symbol will go to that website and kind of search for an image of that link. And it could give you another option uh, to change the tile so that it's an image from that website. Let me see if I go to a different website. Um, sure, let's go to ESPN. <laughs> if I click that ESPN link and I come back over and I create a new tile here with that website, there you go. So it pulled uh, that logo from ESPN's website, right? Now, if I edit that, no, it doesn't have that either. Sometimes it'll have additional options for you here so that you can change um, a couple different aspects about it. But these two didn't appear to have that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, again, what's, what's nice about this, again, you can choose the text, you can show the text, um, you can choose the icon, you can upload your own image if you have one. Um, and that's, that's about that for creating your own tile. Now, if you use, if you're just looking to have access to a couple different like home pages, I know uh, Nearpod and Seesaw and Flipgrid, these are all a couple different uh, educational websites that are used pretty regularly at least that I have. So what you can actually do is if you, um, if you do that right, or uh, if you just click on that tile and you come down to search for a tile. If I click, like, let me, let me do Nearpod. If I click to Nearpod, you can see there's already a tile created and that just expedites how you wanna create that tile, right? Okay, you could, if you want to have a specific, uh, you wanna keep that, that logo, but you want to have a specific link to it, all you would have to do is go in and edit the nearpod.com slash and add your specific link. You can also show the text for it if it's going to be lesson one. 
right? You can do the Nearpod lesson one, save that. And now it shows both the logo and the title of that lesson. So a lot of cool options with Symbaloo. Again, this is the free version. You can upgrade, I think it's $50 a year if you would like to, um, to the, uh, the paid subscription. And that obviously gives you a couple different options. Um, creating a group is one, uh, sharing it with groups. And then obviously it can also be ad free as well. So um, that's about it. I hope uh, you go off and explore this. It's a really simple, really easy and really useful tool. And I hope you get some value out of it. So until next time, go teach.